What's up, everybody? Matt Gunnamson here coming to you with another video. We've got Katie here, who's actually one of my customers, who actually is a legacy builder customer inside the digital growth community. Katie, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Real good. Real good. So the reason I uh, had you on this video interview is uh, we were talking before this video, and we were talking about, I actually did the math. And with the the what you're doing inside this business is really interesting because you're generating, I had it on my calculator, you're generating per lead $94.74. And, and that's pretty dang cool. That's really high. I, on top of that, though, too, for anybody who's watching who's maybe just getting started in watching, uh, you know, people make money online, right? I have a lot of interviews with people who are, you know, doing, you know, six figures and, and stuff like that. But what about somebody who's, you know, has made some money in this program, right? Who's, you know, just getting started. You got started in January, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell, tell, take us, I'd love to hear, you know, a couple of things. One, you know, your journey, you know, to got you, that got you to here, but also like, what are you doing that's generating these high converting leads? So, you know, take us away to tell us, tell us about yourself. Okay. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. So yeah, my name is Katie. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two boys, happily married. And I've spent like 10 years trying to figure out how to make meaningful income from home. And I found myself typing, typing and typing, transcriptionist, medical or interviews or whatever it was, but just typing my fingers off. And it's, it's, if I'm not typing, I'm not making any money. I was making beans, by the way. So it's not even meaningful income, but that's, it allowed me to stay home with my kids because that was super important to me when I had kids to be able to stay home, but I still wanted to bring in some meaningful income. And so I ran across this opportunity and it literally checked all the boxes. It gave me, I could be home with my kids. It allowed me to just work a couple, two to three hours a day and bring in that meaningful income. And so to answer your question, this is obviously based on generating leads, right? And getting people in your emails. And it clicked with me one day because during all these typing jobs that I've had, one in particular, I felt like I was just this number floating around in virtual space that they didn't really see me as a person. And I hated that. I really hated that. So I woke up one morning and said, I have these people in my email list. I am so honored and so grateful that they said, I will give you my email. They trust me with their email address because we all know how horrible is it when you get your just filled with junk, right? Stuff that's not providing value and nobody wants more of that. And so I thought, I want to love on my email list. I want, because each email address is a person. There's somebody that's saying, I want something different. I'm ready to make a change. This sounds amazing. And I want to know more. And so instead of spending most of my time chasing more people to bring in, I'm like, I want to really show some love and value to the people that already said yes, and they're in my list. They're there in right there for me to just say, hey, guys, listen up, because this is, you know, and just love on them because they're people who are looking for that hope. They're the ones that are saying, I just want something more. I want something different. I want something better than what I have, whatever their story is. And I want to be able to help them through that and really provide that because that's why they're there. And that was my whole goal in the first place. So that's really how I've been able, or at least that's my approach. And I didn't know where it was going to go, but all I knew is I hated just being some random number because I'm a person and I have goals and dreams too. And so I really just look at each email as that, like somebody that just really is looking for something more. And so it's yeah. kind of my approach. It's very cool. It's very cool. So for those who don't know, inside our community, our legacy builder program is 900 bucks. And so she's brought in four customers at $900 each. So that's $3,600. And she only has 38 people on her email list. So I just think that's powerful what you're sharing about really diving in and really giving in or giving value or, you know, giving your all to the people that have 
that you that have trusted you by giving their email address and really building strong connection with those folks. Yeah. And when you say, and I'm just, I'm just going to throw this because you said, and this is something I hear a lot. It's like, I only have X, whatever. And I mean, that's in this industry. Okay. Because, and I was one where in the beginning it was like, I need to get the masses in. And I only, I only have, it's like saying I'm only a mom. I'm just a mom. Being a mom is the single most important job on the planet. You're raising the next generation, okay? But I use the same thinking of it's not just only 38 people. It's like 38 people said- Real people. I trust, yes, real people that said, I want to know more because what you're saying, I want that. I, I want more of that. And you're giving me hope. And so I'm looking at that as like, wow, 38 people. Like imagine 38 people standing in front of you. It's not one or two. I mean, even if it was one or two, it's not just one or two. That's amazing that are like totally captivated and saying, I am listening to what you're saying. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that. Because I remember I was uh, I was attending uh, Russell Brunson's event. It was when he was launching Traffic Secrets. And he said, well, what is traffic? We well, said, traffic is people. <laughs> we tend to forget. These, these are actually it's real people. people. Right. Yeah, or we say leads or I mean, it's it, on the business end, but then if you if you take that part out of it and you just go down to the bare bones, it's like, what is this actually? And this opportunity, it's not just about making money for us, right? It's about giving someone else an opportunity that's going to turn around and change their life too. That's like the that's the extra thing that you're like, oh my gosh. I mean, that's really what drew me in because I was looking for that something that's not just bringing in income for me. It's not just making a paycheck. It's saying, I can do that for me, but wow, I can do that for someone else and make this huge impact out there for them in their life too. So it's, yeah, it's sometimes easy to get sucked into that. But then if you just strip all that away and say, what are we doing here? Like, what is the actual purpose of this? And why did I say yes? Because I'm the type of person that was looking for that. Like, but what else? Like if I had an opportunity, okay, so I can make this, but what else, but what else besides that? Like I wanted that more and this is, it just checks all the boxes. Yeah. And it's interesting what you're saying. Cause um, it's interesting. We have this community of 19,000 members, um, paid members. And what seems to be the overall theme from what I'm seeing, most of it is people are, who are there are committed to other people. You know, there's a there's a yes. genuine desire to see other people succeed, which is really cool. I mean, that's that's great to have an environment like that that is very positive. It's and cool, very, and, uh, and we're attracting. Yeah. It. I think it's hard for some people to grab onto because they want to say, "But well, what's the catch?" Because <laughs> yeah. you see that many people, right? Or you yeah. see the mentors, and you're like, "Okay, so they must be getting a cut of whatever you do," and it's like. No, it's not structured like that because we get a hundred percent profit. Yeah. When we buy, you know, spend nine hundred and and make nine, you make the whole nine hundred right to your account. There's no percentages that are going off to anyone else. And so, I think, generally speaking, we we're we're kind of trained to think that if it sounds too good to be true, that it is. But no, it really is that amazing. Like there's all these people that are supporting and cheering each other on and nobody has, nobody's getting any kicks, backs or, you know, percentages or anything. It's like, no, they're really just like, yeah, let's go, you know? Yeah. And that's it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting you bring that up because we were talking prior to this call about, you know, if you're in a competitive space, affiliate marketing, network marketing here, digital marketing, right? Uh, Katie and I both sell the same product, but we're not concerned about, you know, if somebody, ooh, somebody comes in, Oh, is it going to be, are they going to just go to Katie or that, you know, because I better, I better get them on my email list or I better sell them because otherwise right. it's going to go to Katie, but it, it doesn't work like that. Does it? No, because it's about figuring out who your perfect customer is. So if somebody were to come to me and they just connected to me more, but if they didn't and they went to like, I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm cheering. Everybody cheers each other on because it's, yeah, there's no competition. And there's how many people, billion people on the internet too, because some people say, ah, there's, it's getting saturated and there's too many people. No, 
It, that's not that's a non-factor it's like what less than one percent or something i don't know what the stat was but the, the whole point is if if somebody comes to me or if somebody then it's supposed to be that way because that's what's going to provide the value to that person they're going to connect to you and they're going to be able to succeed if it's with me if it's with you if it's with the the whole goal is to provide the hope for them and to give them the opportunity. And however that works for them, that's what I want them to do. It's not competition at all. Yeah, well said. I love that. Um, in addition, I just wanted to add my thoughts on that as well. It's like, I mean, I love what you're saying for sure, but um, it's almost like, you know, somebody says, I want a pair of shoes. And, you know, I'm Nike, you're Puma, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's just brand, you know, it's like, Yes. I feel like a Puma, honestly. I feel like Puma is right. like the right shoe for me, or I feel like Nike is the right shoe for me. Mm -hmm. That's true, because yeah. everybody's, and that's that's another thing I really love is this program cultivates how you be you. They're not trying to tell you, um, okay, you need to be like this person. Just yeah. do and say exactly what they do, because that's what works. It's like, no, figure out your voice, who you are, because that's how you're going to connect because that's your authentic self. If you're trying to be like someone else, it's not going to work. I'll just tell you right up front. It ain't going to work. If you're going to try to copy someone else, it's not going to work. But that's the amazing part is we're all unique, amazing individuals. This is how to cultivate it so we can shine the light, our light, not someone else's and figure out how to say, hey, guess what? You can do it too and bring them in. And that's, that's I just love it. I love all of what this is about. Yeah, well said, well said. So uh, before we end this call, I just wanna um, add a, a, a kind of dive in a little bit, you know, because um, I, people might be watching, they say, well, you know, what does it, what does it take to, you know, get just, just get the profit, you know what I mean? Which you've done. And, and just a little bit about how, I guess what I want to know is like, you know, what that process has been like for you. And, you know, I know another thing too, I'm kind of all over the place here on this video, but another thing I want to mention too is, you know, we have our 10K Rockstar program, our digital Rockstar program. And I definitely want to have you come back on this channel when you hit $10,000 in 30 days. Cause I don't Absolutely. want you to, I don't want everybody watching <laughs> saying, oh, well, that's all she's going to make or anything like that. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's yeah. really interesting that just that very first start that people like to hear about. So, do you have any any wisdom or uh, maybe like a tip that you would like to share for anybody who's you know just just getting a start in that initial starting period? Yeah. So the biggest thing for me is well, mindset is everything. So when you get into something new, obviously you feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. The biggest thing is well, not only to follow the process, but what does that actually mean? So every time you share this opportunity, okay. First of all, it doesn't have to be perfect because that's something that will hold people back, especially in the beginning is like, oh, I got to make sure that I have the right background or I have to make sure I know what I'm going to say perfect. I have to look perfect. First of all, just take that and set it aside on a shelf somewhere. OK, but the second thing is to know that every time you share this, you're planting a seed. OK, I relate it to if you want to have if you want to go grow tomatoes, OK, and you go buy the pack of seeds. You're like, oh, I invested in the pack of seeds of tomatoes and you go plant them and you're like, um, son, can you go pick me a tomato for dinner? And you just plant it on me. He's going to be like, um, there, there's no I actually did this. It was really funny. And my son's like, mom, we don't have any tomatoes. And I was like, oh, dang it. Well, I bought the seeds and I want the tomato. So why isn't it there right now? It's kind of that you plant the seed, right? You water it every day and it's guaranteed going to grow, but it's not, it's not in your time right now, where it's kind of that like microwave society where like, I got something, I want it to work right now. So in the beginning, it's really important to just remember every time you plant a seed, it's going to grow but it's going to grow when it grows. Like you're going to just take care of it. You're going to nurture it. You're going to water it. You're going to keep it going and just be patient and just know that it will work. If you keep going, just keep going. <laughs> yeah. That's, what's great. I mean, that's the thing is, you know, that's brilliant because what it is for a lot, for some people, some people, they launch right out of the gate, right? Like Victoria, $29,000 the first month, but that doesn't happen for everybody. Some people, they don't get any money like the first month. Right. Right. Um, you, you know, you were able to actually regain your investment within about like a couple of weeks. 
Well, yeah, so it was after nine days. Yeah. Is what, but then it took a minute. Like, yeah. so it was nine days, you know, and, and we all probably have, I mean, you ha we all have connections of some kind. So, right. I mean, it was somebody that already knew me and right. it was like, boom, right away. But then after that, it was like, okay, now what? You know, that's when right. it really was just like, all right, we got to, it's not going to be like that necessarily every time. And yes, there's people that it just goes, but that's their journey. Yeah. It's not, now, how many people, and I'll say this, how many people start off with a slow burn and give up the week before it was probably just going to take off. Mm, There's yeah. people in the community that have said like, I didn't make any money for three and a half months, four yeah. months. Yeah. But then once that four, so if, if we were to say, would you wait four months? Would you do this and know that in four months, it's going to be like rock your world. Would you, would you have a different mindset? Would you be like, okay, I'm going to be patient with this or give it a time frame. I would give it at least a year before you just throw in the towel, honestly, but it's going to, it's going to happen before that. If you follow the process, it's proven it's going to work, but you have to plug in. You have to stay consistent, you know, be coachable and listen and, and do all the things. And, but I promise if you plant the seeds and you're consistent and you water them and you nurture them, and you do all the things it's going to work. It just might not be tomorrow, you know, it's going to be like, eh, just, just keep going. That's my biggest thing. Just keep going. <laughs> well, I so love having you on this because um, this is the real stuff. You know, yeah. this is the real stuff that I think a lot of people need to hear. So, and I think you just, you've said it extremely well. So, well, thank you so much for having me. It's fun. Yeah. And I can't wait to be back. Totally. Yes, <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. So you're coming back, right? You're going to come yes, back. Yes, of course. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so, take care. All right, we'll see ya. Thank you.